Okay, so this is my latest build. As you could see in the footage, it has a four-speed gearbox. This is the car chassis I used for my last video. Um, there were, my last video's car chassis, it, the knob gears, that I used normal gears, and they kept skipping when I was testing the car out earlier. So I sought them out for knob gears. So now they won't skip. Um, the car is pretty sturdy. It uses quite a lot of panels. I bought quite a lot of panels. Um, you can see this panel is really dirty. I don't know why, but it's dirty. And I don't really like that, but I think it still looks pretty good. Um, the back it also looks pretty good uh this is like uh mclaren Lauren because i saw it on the internet and i wanted to build it and you can see i have the front grille the really big one and it's rear wheel drive and you can see the front wheels they're steered and it uses a virtual pivot steering, so the panel can be really close to the wheel. Look how close it is, except when it turns, it doesn't ever touch the panel. And then you can see I used this big black panel on the side for the like thing. I used a 3x7 panel, and I just made it black with some Sharpie. Works pretty well. This thing uses two hubs. So, one motor for steering, one, two motors for drive, one motor for switching the gears. And you can see it actually looks pretty good. And see when you look at it from an angle like this. You can see that it's actually kind of long. And I didn't realize that until the end when it was too late. But I think it looks pretty good. And I use these mud guard pieces on the wheels. The wheels have flimsy axle suspension. It's pretty good. Flimsy axle suspension. It's a pretty good suspension. And wheels have quite a bit of travel. So yeah, it's pretty good. You can see the bottom of the chassis. The back, so you can see it's the same chassis from before, and you can see the back has like pretty hollow. And if I flip it over, you can see that the two hubs are over here, and there's the four speed gearbox and all the wires. Uh, the hood is kind of flimsy, but I wanted it to be angled, so I kind of had to make it kind of flimsy. Um, for the back, for the, for like the thing, I used this flexible hose piece. I think it works pretty well. And, yeah, this took me quite a while to build. And, I... Like, the parts to mount the hoods, like right here, are kind of flimsy. Um, these panels are kind of flimsy, but they won't move. One thing that is cool is this beam that has this panel here. It's actually only connected by one pin, but this panel right here holds it in place. I used another 3x7 panel in the back. My 3D printed ones because I don't have 3x7 panels. And you can see here are the two motors. And yeah, and it drives okay pretty good. It's actually quite heavy as well. You can see down here I use knob gears. I can't turn them because, well, the gearbox has friction, the two motors are at pretty strong. And by pretty strong, I mean really strong. So, yeah, it's really good. And the hood is surprisingly sturdy. 
even though it's only connected by a few pins. So, yeah. Well, you can see it does break. Surprisingly, I actually ran out of black pins. These ones. Yeah, I ran out of them. So, I had to go searching for more. See back there, the two motors, they're driving through some gears, which drives the gearbox, so they're hard coupled. If you, in the front, you can see I use some like curved pieces to kind of hide the motor a little bit. You can see the motor inside there. And yeah, the hood just goes on to here. And I use flexible ho these flexible hose pieces and I shape the front. The front has some gaps, but I was too lazy to fill them in. I think I could have filled them in by swapping this five long beam for like a seven long beam, but I can't find one yet. So yeah, five long beam it is, but like, yeah. And one interesting thing is that the the I I swapped the gearing since my last build. I now have a, a separate gearing because the mounting points in the front weren't that good for my last one. And yeah, that's about it. No cable management whatsoever. Just wrap them around and take them to the hood hub. Yeah.